Hi boys and girls, make sure you have your phonics book and you're open to page four and five so you can follow along, track the words with your eyes and your fingers as I read um, the poem. As we're reading, I want you to really pay attention to the different types of punctuation mark that you see in here because I see all of the different types of punctuation that we've been learning about. So follow along with me. Look in a book. Reading a book is a very big treat. Who knows what will happen or whom you will meet. You may meet a girl in a little red hood. You may meet a wolf who is up to no good. You may meet three bears who are out for a walk. You may meet a boy with a giant beanstalk. There's so much to see if you know where to look. So make some new friends inside your next book. Yesterday, we looked for the different types of characters that are in the book, are in this poem. And today, I hope you heard how my voice was changing as I read um, the poem when there were different types of punctuation. My voice went up with the question mark. It showed a lot of feeling with an exclamation mark. And if I was just telling you something, my voice didn't change too much at all. Now I want you to think about those different characters that were mentioned. And we're going to turn to the next page. Okay, so on page six, there's a spot for you to write. My favorite character from the story is, well, it mentioned a lot of different characters. Let's think about who it mentioned. We'll look back. It mentioned a girl in a little red hood, a wolf who is up to no good. It also mentioned three bears who are out for a walk and a boy with a giant beanstalk. So I want you to think about which character you like the best. And I want you to tell me who the character is. And I want you to tell me why you liked that character. So my favorite character from the story is Jack and the Beanstalk because, or you might say, my favorite character is the wolf who is up to no good because. So think about who your favorite character is, and why you like that character. Pause the video and take a minute to write down um, who you like and why. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to practice pack, tapping out some of our words and building them. So I'm going to say a word and I want you to practice tapping it out and writing it on your whiteboard. The first word is pet. So make sure you have your tapping fingers ready and tap out the word pet. P -e -t. Make sure you've tapped it out and you've written it on your whiteboard. Our next word is peck. Now think about that k sound after a short vowel, like the short vowel e. So it needs two letters to make that k sound at the end of the word. We have p, e, But remember, our C and our K work together to make one sound. Now, if you know peck, can you tap out the word neck? Tap it out, write it on your board. N, A, K. Very good. Awesome. I'm going to give you a couple of other words that you don't see, and I want you to practice tapping them and writing them. So listen carefully. The first word is net. Tap it out. 
tap it out, write it on your board. You should have written N-E-T. Okay, get ready to do the next word. The next word is tell. Tap it out. Write it on your board. You should have written T E L L. So this is a little tricky. There is um, or there are two L's at the end of this word. All right, I'm going to give you one more. The last one is mess. So tap it out. Write it on your board. Okay, and you should have written M E S S. Great job. Notice that both in both tell and mess, there are two consonants of the same letter at the end. We double them, the L's and the S's. There's two of them. We'll keep practicing these more this week. Great job today.